Let's get to another big story we're following tonight. The Baltimore City State's Attorney has a big decision to make. Put Adnan Syed on trial for murder all over again or drop the charges in the 1999 killing of Heyman Lee. Now, Syed, as you know, had been serving a life sentence for more than 20 years before that conviction was vacated yesterday. Syed then released on house arrest. WJZ investigator Mike Halligan live at the Cummings Courthouse downtown. Mike, you had a chance to speak to the state's attorneys today. When does she expect to make that decision? That's the big question. Oh, Rick, Marilyn Mosby says she's still waiting for the rest of the DNA test results to come in. She doesn't know how long that will take. If they exclude Adnan Syed, she says she will fully drop the case against him. Rabia Chowdhury, a close friend of Adnan Syed, captured the moment he arrived home in Baltimore County for the first time in 23 years. While Syed's free for now, the decision to ask for a new trial on the murder of Heyman Lee is up to Baltimore State's attorney oh, yeah, Marilyn Mosby, who spoke one on one with WJZ. So if that DNA comes back inconclusive, I will certify that he's innocent. If it comes back to two alternative suspects, I will certify that he's innocent. If it comes back to Adnan Syed, the state is still in a position to proceed upon the prosecution. What was that moment like for you when the judge's ruling came down? I think it was um, it, it was an emotional moment for me because it's come full circle. Mosby's office was finally able to access the original case file from the attorney general this past June and uncovered handwritten notes she says identified two other suspects, one who threatened to kill Lee. She says the evidence was never turned over to the defense. In a statement, the attorney general disputed the claim and says there were serious problems with the motion to throw out the conviction. Why did they sit on this information? Why wasn't this disclosed? Why wasn't it discovered? Because the moment that we discovered it, um, we turned it over. And so those are questions that you should be asking the attorney general. Prosecutors admit cell phone evidence was not reliable and some witness testimony not credible. To the detective that had a history of issues and was implicated in one of my first exonerations, like all of these facts play into the fact that this conviction and the integrity of the conviction should be called into question. Lee's family criticized Mosby, saying they feel shut out of the justice process. That is outside the, the control, my control. I didn't set the hearing date. All we can do is to inform the family, and that's what we did in this case. And she went into more detail and maintains they went above and beyond telling Lee's brother before the motion was filed, even helping to arrange that he be there on Zoom. She says ultimately she wants justice for Heyman Lee. Reporting live at the Cummings Courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ.